my new boat got driven today. I'm gonna purchase this one today. This weekend they've got a big poker run through Kingston, so they've got all these sick boats. That truck goes with that boat. Base boat. Huge weekend coming up. There's the poker run, which hopefully tomorrow I can wake up and actually get some footage of. Haven't been filming much. We've had a lot going on in our life. Um, I was also sick for almost a whole week, and then Elena got sick. So we just haven't really been feeling very good. You know, sometimes when you're vlogging and you're doing all this recording and stuff, there are times where you just don't want to record it. Um, sometimes you just want to enjoy it for yourself. But we're definitely going to be doing a lot more vlogging now. I've got so many ideas for these things. Um, I want to do an intro video. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I've been working and making the edits smoother. I've been making the content better. I've left a lot on the cutting floor because a lot of times when I get home, and look at the footage, it's not the same as when I shot it. So I want to make sure that you guys see the best footage and really have a good time and, and really uh, enjoy these. Because I really enjoy making them and it's really creative and it lets me kind of, you know, do a whole bunch of stuff with it. But at the same time, I want to make sure it's good. Good morning! I just recorded, like, really good stuff and I wasn't even recording. Crap. We're about to just have breakfast and then we're heading downtown to the waterfront for the poker run. There's a bunch of really cool speed boats and stuff downtown and I'm going to go down and film it. And then tomorrow we've got the sheepdog trials, which will be a lot of fun. It's sitting out there. That's pretty cool and I'm stuck because the other boats are coming in and they lifting the bridge. Some of them chilling out there in the water. Now they're going out to meet them, so that's what we're going to go do. Sailboat. Motorboats. There's a boat. That guy is controlling a phantom way up over there. The Brigantine, which is an old sailboat, came out to see us. And that guy is the right idea. We're all coming out now. Guys on jet skis. That's one of the smaller boats. Still sounds awesome. There's also some really nice yachts. Sorry, I'm really zoomed in because I'm like, I'm on the other side of the lake or on the bay. And I just walked all the way around there. There's the gyro. Oh, I love it. So that's the guy that's controlling the guy I filmed earlier. He has a, that's his drone. He's got a sedu on the end of it. Matching colors. Ah, cool. TV. Loaded. And there's the brigantine, the sailboat with full sails up. Parker is, and they're gonna take off. Awesome. Good seat. Never run up in here, look. Helicopter. <laughs> guys just hovering over the water. Island Ferry. He has to get through all these boats. <laughs> Have fun with that. A bunch of people came from Ottawa, Gananoque, Rockville, Belleville with their boats for sure. Look at that paint job on that one, the velocity. That's cool. This thing looks like it doesn't even have any windows or anything, but there's the up top. It's so cool. This guy wins for coolest boat for sure. This is the joys of being rich. Get your own personal helicopter to hover around the boats. Someone in Kingston owns a helicopter that they can just do this with. That's crazy. Or maybe it's a sponsor who bought the helicopter to film it. There's a catamaran boat. It's got a dual hull under the helicopter. That's the one I got yesterday on the trailer. Listen to that. Blue one that I actually wanted was over there and I didn't film it because I hit the button. The maker scream. <laughs> nice. Look at this thing. 
that's the actual pace boat. That's a sponsored boat. That looks like it's station 14 up there. That guy, literally right over my shoulder is the helicopter again. No big deal. That's my, that's my second camera. Catamaran team. Look at this thing. Awesome. The T-48. I think that's the fastest boat out of uh, Thousand Islands. That's awesome. Please be recording. Good, you're recording. A lot of horsepower. Look, he's got the same camera I do. How friggin' rad is that? Too fast for you. That, it's out of Collins Bay. That's out of Collins Bay where I used to sail. Awesome. Too fast for you. 900 SC. Wow. Yeah, I remember that thing ripping up and down. Two 450s. Number one. Yep, for a reason. Look at that paint job, too. Oh, man. Boys and their toys. All right, how much do you think it would fill to, how much do you think it would cost to fill one of these? The Roadster, open part. Get some engine, get some air in the engine before you rip it up. Look at this, this is a jet boat. This one's my, this one's my pick. Look at that. It's a jet boat, that's a jet boat. <laughs> Two jet engines at the back of it. Oh, they're taking off. Look, it's my baby. That's the blue one. Look at the rooster tail. Here comes the jet boats. Snap-on tools, superboat. But here's the race for second. Come on, my God, it's neck and neck. The Canadians are in first, followed by the French, followed by the Germans, followed by... Oh, that was very cool. Love water. Look how calm that is, though. Just listen to the waves. So they take off from here and then they go down the Thousand Islands to Kananaque, make a stop, and every time they stop they get a card, and it's not based on speed or anything like that, it's just a parade. Very cool. All right, I am back. Very hot outside. So. <sighs> What a nice day. I'm gonna go back, see Elena and the poo poo, see how she's doing. Run was this morning too. <laughs> Very busy weekend in Kingston. The run or die, which is the tie dye run at the fort. There's uh, the boat poker run going on this weekend. And tomorrow we're gonna to go check out the sheepdog trial. So up at the park where we usually take the, the puppies, um, they're actually having the national sheepdog. National 
Let me start that again. They're actually having, wow, there's a lot of C's and S's. They're having the National Sheepdog Trials. Slight change of plans. We're gonna mow the backyard and take care of that. Poopoo's gonna watch us. That's my beast. And after watching those big boats, I wanna play with the biggest engine. No. No, it's a little electrical lawnmower engine. Soon there will be a laser vlogs from on a fastest speedboat in the world. You wait, you'll see. Lane is playing some GTA. I'm trying to find a gang attack. She's trying to find a gang attack and Mooney Bear. It's crashed. Lane is using her iPad to find all the gang attacks. Crap. Better rest before you see Lucy tomorrow. And Grandma. Making some shablut, as it's called. So it's going to be like ground beef. Ground beef with uh, French onion mix, and then we got potatoes, and then we got corn. And what you do is you stack it all together, and it's really, really good. Elena thinks she's making it, but I'm already making it, so I don't know what she's talking about. So anyway, she's out playing a game, and I'm uh, I'm being the husband, and I'm cooking. She's playing GTA, trying to find a gang more. Winnie is having some dinner. Potatoes going. Potatoes are boiling. We're going. They're cut up so that you can mash them easily. But potatoes are boiled, and the second step of the meat process is French onion soup mix. So you put that in with a couple cups of water. And you let it sit, and it just soaks in, and it's so good. Then I also got some juice going because you always need to to hydrate in this hot, hot weather. I'm in charge of cooking the thing. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so I just finished. We've got the mashed potatoes, we have the meat, and we have the corn over there. So the first thing you gotta do is just, thank you, Elena. You're welcome. So first thing you gotta do is you have to make like a fortress of potatoes. Fortress like this, so it's mashed potatoes in a circle and the circle in the middle. So I put a bunch of butter and a bunch of um, stuff in the potatoes already, but one thing you can do is you can add a little bit more if you like. So what you do is you put the butter in the middle here so it melts around all the potatoes meat. You put it on top like this and the meat cooks the butter. A little bit of corn, salt and pepper on top, ground, ground pepper and corn. Put that on top. Just like that, a Dutch treat. And then when you are Dutch and you really like it, like Elena, you get that much and you finish half. That's my first helping. That's the first helping. Don't! I'll do the dishes after. Well, the kitchen's messy. Yeah, I'll do like it I'm after. I'm filming the kitchen, so it's messy. I just finished cooking. And always remember, guys, when you make dinner for your wife, make sure you leave the kitchen exactly the way you found it. What? Oh, man. Husband points through the roof. Clean kitchen after cooking dinner. Did all the dishes. It's the way to do it. Lucy! <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Elena's mommy's new puppy, Lucy. Aw, sweetheart. I know. She's a little Lucy. cute. There's Winnie and there's Lucy. They're both sharing the new toy. Have